Cool, so hey you guys, welcome back to another movie review. Today we are talking about Joker and my word, this movie was insane. So I mean this movie has been on my most anticipated list for this whole year and I was really, really, really excited for this movie. Um, I won't lie, I was a bit hesitant at first knowing that the story was an origin story for the Joker because one of the things I just love about the Joker character is that we don't really know his origin. Um, at least that's how it's been up until this point. Um, and I, I love that aspect of the character. So I was cautious about this movie, but as soon as I started seeing trailers, um, some set photos of Walking Phoenix in, in full makeup and costume, I just got immediately excited for this movie. So it's been up there for quite some time now and, and just before going into this review, I will not be spoiling anything. Trust me, I've been very, very cautious of what I've kept in this. Obviously with these sort of movies, we want to experience things for the first time without having heard stuff beforehand. So I'm being very cautious what I say here and I will not be spoiling anything. Trust me. So the basic story of this film is that Arthur Fleck, he's kind of like this outcast in Gotham. Um, he's trying to make a living to support his mother um, and he's trying to also just pursue this career as being a stand-up comedian um, and life's just been really hard for him. Lots of things have gone wrong. If you've seen the trailers you will know this. Um, so he's just really battling to, to find his feet in the world. Um, and that's pretty much the basic story of this movie. I'm not going to say anything else afterwards. And for me personally this movie exceeded expectations. I obviously had pretty high expectations before going into the movie but this movie exceeded those. And one of the main reasons for that is just Joaquin Phoenix's incredible, incredible performance. This guy nails it in every single scene. He is incredible. If he does not win Best Actor at the Academy Awards this year, I'm going to be shocked because really his performance in here is the best I've seen this whole year, hands down, and the best I've seen in the last couple of years, if I recall correctly. It's it's incredible and it's so immersive and you just feel like you're sort of in the room with this character throughout the movie and just the way Walking Phoenix uses his expressions, his eyes, his face, his his body, everything, it's so immersive. And you really also just get to understand the character through his body language and it's it's, it's it's incredible. It really is incredible. So I know for a lot of people they are immediately going to try to sort of compare Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker to Joaquin Phoenix's performance as the Joker and for me personally Joaquin Phoenix's portrayal as the Joker was so vastly different to Heath Ledger's uh, portrayal of the Joker. So it's so hard to even compare them in my opinion. They were both extremely iconic and extremely good and I think Heath Ledger will always be an iconic Joker performance. I don't think anyone is ever going to take that title away from him but at the same time Joaquin Phoenix brings it in this movie as well and it is insane what he does with this character. It is completely crazy. So I don't even think you can really choose a favorite or at least I can't because I just respect both of their portrayals as the Joker so much but if you were worried that Joaquin Phoenix wasn't going to perform um, as well as Heath Ledger did, don't worry about that because he definitely does. He definitely brings a strong performance in this movie. Another thing I just wanted to talk about as well is just the cinematography of this movie. It might be the best I've seen this whole year. Um, the colors are just so awesome. The, 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 the camera shots are incredible. There's like just these incredible wide shots in the movie and then also just extremely beautiful close-up shots as well um, that just capture moments so so well. I mean I can't imagine how difficult it is to sometimes capture what Walking Phoenix is doing as an actor because he's just so like in the zone I guess I could say that. Um, but just the cinematography in this movie managed to capture everything. So I really do hope the cinematography gets recognized um, as we go into the award season for this movie because I do think it's also really really good and I think it might be some of the best cinematography I've seen personally this year so I really hope it gets recognized. This former times definitely did have that sort of taxi driver feel to it so it was fun seeing Robert De Niro in this movie as well um, and he plays this talk show host and he really acted that role really well and um, he was one of my favorite parts of the movie as well. This movie is also extremely dark and violent at times and I was quite surprised at how far they pushed certain stuff in the movie um, you definitely just get an insight into what is going on in Arthur Fleck's mind in this movie and the movie does it really really well. 
the whole movie gets to tell the story through Arthur Fleck's perspective and I think it's a very very interesting thing for the movie to have done and it definitely does pay off. And this movie also does not feel like a comic book movie at all and I know that's kind of obvious by watching the trailers and stuff like that but really this movie it's it's not like any comic book movie that I've ever seen before. It is a slow burn, it is a character study on the Joker and if you are going into the movie expecting this huge action sort of Batman style movie you are going to be disappointed because it definitely is not that. But at the same time I think DC and Warner Brothers took a risk here and it definitely definitely paid off. This is one of the most iconic movies I've seen this year and I definitely think it's going to get better as it ages as well. I know everyone's giving it positive reviews and talking about it now and calling it a masterpiece and stuff like that and sure maybe it is but at the same time I do think this movie is going to get better as it ages. Um, it just has a sort of feel to it and this movie is definitely not for everyone but at the same time I do think everyone if you are a movie fan should watch this movie because it is just something so unique um, and so interesting to watch. Guys if you are seeing the Joker this weekend let me know in the comments down below I want to hear how excited you are for it if you have not yet seen it are you going to see it are you excited to see it um, and what is your favorite Joker performance up until this point who has been your favorite Joker and yes we do count Mark Hamill as a Joker just saying. Guys, it is so late, so I'm gonna go to bed now, but thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really, really do appreciate it. Remember to please like this video, subscribe, and press the bell icon to be notified every single time I post a new video. I definitely think The Joker is something I might do a video essay on as well, because there's a lot to talk about in this movie, but we'll see. Let's see how we go. Thank you so, so much for watching this once again. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.